This is the second part of measuring. This will be the drawing part. Remember, just to review, you're measuring the relationships between the size, the location, the angle, and the values on certain points of your painting or drawing. As you saw in the first video where we were finding all these critical points, once we get those points established, it's much easier to draw because I know where everything is located. So now I just start locating my values based on the points that I found earlier. Now most of my measurements are value measurements and the relationship between the dark area and the light area. How much lighter is it compared to the dark area that it's next to? You can see on the left side of her face there's a dark value between her ear and her cheek. And so once I establish that value, then it's easier to judge how much lighter the value becomes as the light rolls around the front of her cheek to eventually end up at the highlight of her cheek right below her eye on the left. So you can see I'm basically just filling in these values, looking for lighter values and darker values, and continually comparing back and forth and making those measurements of value changes relative to an established value, like the darks in her hair compared to the lighter areas in her hair. How much lighter is her hair on the right side than it is in the middle? And how much lighter is the middle part of her hair compared to the darkest part of her hair. So you continually make these comparisons, which are also measurements, between the darkest areas and the lightest areas. And most of the time, when you lay the value down the first time, you'll probably have to come back and change it a bit, make it a little lighter, a little darker. That's what painting is all about. Adjustments, comparisons, relationships, measuring, comparing values, comparing angles, comparing sizes, and comparing locations. And you can interchange the word comparing with the word measuring. It's much easier to get a likeness of a person if you have these critical points. Now that I have these points, her nose is not too long, her mouth is not too wide, one eye is not above or below another one. I found all these critical points in the early stages of the drawing so I can end up with an accurate likeness in the end. Part one of this video was mostly left brain activity. The left side of your brain loves to measure, compare, calculate, store information, analyze, and now this part of the video where we're drawing is purely right brain. Remember the right brain doesn't even store words for the nose or words for the mouth or teeth. It just sees. But it sees the relationships between the values on the side of the face, the relationships between the subtle differences in the hair, the light values and dark values. When the right side of your brain is working to its full capacity, you're not thinking about words. You're not thinking this is a cheek and this is an eye. You're just comparing relationships between the subtle changes in value from one part of the face to another. Its desire is to capture the subtle differences in values and record them on the canvas. I'll just stop talking here for a couple minutes while I finish the drawing.
So that wraps it up. Thanks for watching and you can see how important measuring is.